ventral and lateral to the vestibular nucleus you are able to see the spinal nucleus and tract of the trigeminal nerve so this is the spinal nucleus and tract of trigeminal nerve or it is situated in front of the cerebellar peduncle middle cerebellar peduncle which you are able to see here okay now coming to the facial nucleus the fibers of the facial nucleus first passes dorsally and then medially okay so the fibers of the facial nucleus first runs backwards or dorsally and then medially winds around the abducens nerve nucleus you are able to see winds around the abducens nerve nucleus so it first it is seen between the abducens and the vestibular nucleus then you are able to see it is seen between the its facial nerve nucleus and the spinal nucleus of trigeminal nerve okay and then finally it emerges out at the ponto medullary junction okay now why actually this winding around takes place first this winding around of the fibers forms a bulge or impression which is called as the facial colliculus which is called as the facial colliculus okay second thing why this takes place is might be the nucleus would have migrated from the original position which was somewhere lateral and slightly medial so even though it has migrated what happens is it is taking its original course of route and this is a very good example of neurobiotaxis so which means based on the some stimulus the movement of the fibers is in its original uh, pathway so that is actually called as the neurobiotaxis some stimulus through which what happens it is following its original pathway so that is about the facial nucleus and the facial colliculus so this looping is actually called as the internal genu you know one more external genu which you see in the facial canal so which is passing the facial canal which you are able to which we have seen in the medial and the posterior wall of the middle ear cavity so this internal genu there you have the external genu or bend okay so more laterally you are able to see the inferior cerebellar peduncles and uh, immediately in front of the inferior cerebellar peduncle is your uh, spinal nucleus and tract of trigeminal nerve and this inferior cerebellar peduncle the dorsal and ventral cochlear nucleus will be intimately related to it so next uh, coming to the uh, structure of the pons at the level of superior colliculus so inferior colliculus mainly we can identify by the presence of the facial colliculus facial nerve nucleus facial colliculus abducens nerve nucleus and the vestibular nucleus now in the upper part of pons uh, the other things are always same so you are able to see the transverse fibers uh, pontine nuclei so pontine nuclei from that the transverse fibers they start and form the massive cerebellar peduncles these transverse fibers break the descending fibers into discrete bundles so these are the cortico spinal fibers okay and the cortico nuclear are also called as the cortico bulbar fibers and behind that you see the trapezoid body and the lemniscus so medial lemniscus and then you have the uh, spinal and the trigeminal uh, lemniscus okay and this is your reticular formation and that is your floor of the fourth ventricle so the floor of the fourth ventricle in the midline you also have uh, the mainly your medial longitudinal 